Hello and welcome to Green Japan, our series exploring Japan's innovative path to carbon neutrality. In this third episode, we see how Japan pioneers carbon recycling to cut CO2 emissions before they enter the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is the main cause of global warming. In the western wing of Tomokamai port, Japan has shown that CO2 can be captured and stored. Experts are confident the technology implemented at the Tomokamai CCS Demonstration Project Center will be crucial for reaching net zero emissions in Japan and worldwide. CCS to a CCS is an acronym for Carbon Dioxide Capture and Storage. It's a technology aimed at preventing global warming by capturing CO2 generated from industrial activities and storing it underground. The CO2 source is a gas supply facility in a refinery adjacent to the Tomokamai CCS center. A gas containing carbon dioxide is sent by a pipeline to the capture facility. We receive a maximum of 25 tonnes of CO2 per hour, which is equivalent to 600 tonnes a day. Our target was to process 100,000 tonnes in one year. We achieved the injection of 300,000 tonnes two years ago. Once the gas containing CO2 arrives at the demonstration plant, CO2 is separated from the gas and captured by chemical absorption inside these three towers which are the main CCS facilities. The CO2 now needs to be stored. The captured CO2 is sent to the inlet of this well after a certain amount of pressure is applied. Through this pipe, the CO2 is sent to the geological layers below the seabed. The two injection wells of the project were drilled from onshore towards offshore subseabed reservoirs. One well targeted a sandstone layer between the depths of 1,000 to 1,200 meters. The other one reached a volcanoclastic layer between 2,400 and 3,000 meters deep. The International Energy Agency estimates in 2050 we'll have to be capable of storing over 7 billion tons of CO2 per year with CCS systems in order to achieve net zero. This would allow to use fossil fuels in a cleaner way or to capture CO2 directly from the atmosphere and store it underground. We saw how CO2 can be captured before entering the atmosphere and stored in the ground. But Japan has also found a way to use CO2 to produce a carbon-negative concrete, CO2 suicon. Ordinary concrete emits approximately 288 kilograms of CO2 per cubic meter during its production. But CO2 suicon has achieved minus 18 kilograms. This is the first concrete worldwide that not only is carbon negative, but it's also capable of absorbing CO2 during the curing process. The key to making this happen is adding a special material, which is a chemical byproduct, and then exposing the concrete to CO2. We use CO2 gas instead of water for the CO2 suicom's curing process. CO2 is immobilized by bringing it into contact with the concrete while it is still hardening. We add a special mixture, gamma C2S, we call it magic powder, as it solidifies a large amount of CO2. The more we produce this magic concrete, the more it reduces CO2 from the atmosphere. This eco-friendly concrete has already been used in all sorts of building projects as a precast material. This is what the curbstones of this main road near the city of Masuda are made of. Developers expect to apply this technology to a wider range of materials in the future. They hope this will open a greener way forward for construction. That's all for now. Our series Green Japan gives you an insight into Japan's cutting-edge technologies to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and also how it shares this expertise with developing countries. You can watch all the episodes of Green Japan on our website.